Good morning, Huddle Wildcats, and welcome to a special HBWN. I'm Haley Hendricks. And I'm Drew Jenkins. On today's show, we bring the Wildcats' adventure through homecoming. Our cameras are rolling at the dance, the pep rally, and the parade, the crowning of the 2011 Wildcat Homecoming Queen. Plus, WCSN gets us caught up on the game against the Northside Grizzly. Today is October 11th, and HBWN starts now. Our top story. To get our homecoming coverage started, we go all the way back to the homecoming parade. Students on the streets as Harbor students groups showed off their creativity. Brad Ames Lovett reports. This year at Harbor, students were pumped up for the annual parade, which is a celebration tradition for homecoming. This parade consists of floats for band, dance, cheerleading, athletics, and other clubs or committees. This year we put signs on our float to prepare for the parade. We also arranged a trailer and a truck so that we didn't have to walk through the parade. And then we got all the candy so we could go to the kids. <laughs> Students and teachers will continue to enjoy Harbor's homecoming parade for future years and will continue to keep Harbor's tradition. For HBW and this has been Brad Ames Lovett signing out. The grand winner of the parade was the FFA group. Congratulations. Well, the parade was just the beginning of our festivities. Harbor students, alumni, and parents were treated to the annual homecoming pep rally where they were introduced to the court. Harbor's homecoming pep rally formally introduced the court to the student body. The students got more entertainment also, including the Lighthouse Singers performance and a speech from Bryce Wagner, the Southwest Principal. You know, Harvard High School football has some unique uh, characteristics. One is that you went to the finals in 2007. Wildcats became state champions in 2009. Although the pep rally formally introduced the court to the student body, the queen was not crowned until later that night at the game. For HBWN, I'm Cassandra Jones. Congratulations to all our beautiful ladies on court. Now let's see a special lady in particular that really shined. 
homecoming queen, Bernicia Brown. Congratulations to Renisa, our 2011 homecoming queen. Harvard Wildcats spent their Saturday preparing for a night under the stars at our homecoming dance, and our cameras caught some people showing off their moves. Looks like everybody had a blast, thanks to Stuco for preparing that and making that night magical. Great job. Coming up after the break, we will check in with Christina Hebert, and she brings us What's Trending. Maybe you should get this excited about your education. Get excited about your education. Make twice as much money with a college degree. It's your future. Go to arworks.arkansas.gov and get to work, Arkansas. Welcome back to What's Trending. I'm Christine Aybert. This week we went through the halls to ask Harbor students what their current favorite song is from the top 20 iTunes list, along with what source they most likely use to listen to their music. We made a bar and a pie graph to show our results. Let's get started. Okay, what's your favorite song? Moves Like Jagger by Maroon 5. Okay. What source do you use to listen to your music? Local radio. So what kind of source do you use to listen to your music? My phone. All right. Someone like you by Adele. Hey, what source do you listen to your music from? I listen to my music from Pandora. Next, we had 50 votes on what source you most likely use to listen to your music. Top source was cell phone. Following in at number two was MP3 player. From surveying 65 Harbor students, the result of the top 20 iTunes songs, only eight made it to our chart. Winner was Pumped Up Kicks by Foster the People. Second was It Girl by Jason Derulo. And third was Three Way, tied between Moves Like Jagger, How to Love, and Cheers. If you would like to participate in the survey, go to harborherald.com to vote for the source you listen to your music on. Be sure to read more on Harbor Herald and make sure to watch us next week. For What's Trending, I'm Christina Abert. Thanks, Christina. I'm really liking some of the songs from the top 20. I know. Like, I love listening to music. <laughs> okay, coming up after the break, WCSN gets us caught up on the Harbor Wildcat football game against the Northside Grizzlies. I have a career readiness certificate. I have a career readiness certificate. 
I have a career readiness certificate. The CRC shows potential employers that you are capable of finding information, reading instructions, and working with figures common in today's workplace. You may now begin the online assessment. Prepare for your success today by going to arworks.arkansas.gov. Good morning, Wildcats. Welcome to a special homecoming segment of WCSN. I'm Carter Henson. For homecoming, the Wildcats took on the North Side Grizzlies. Matt Bowen brings you the highlights. It was homecoming night, and the Harbor Wildcats were dancing with the North Side Grizzlies. First possession of the game, John Vaughn connects with Michael Fine, whoop, makes the move, and gets a 21 yard gain. A couple plays later, Tucker Lee pushes his way in for the five yard touchdown run. Harbor leads 7-0. Very magical moment here. Harbor kicks the onside kick, and who else but Adam Bolin recovers. Now Harbor back on offense. John Vaughn hooks up with Michael Fine for the 25-yard gain. Once again, Tucker Lee gets the handoff and rumbles into the end zone for the five-yard touchdown run. Harbor leads 14-0. Now in the second quarter, John Vaughn connects with junior wide receiver Nick Byrne for the 26-yard touchdown. Harbor leads 30-14. Here's a tackle for loss by Byron Harris. Look at the hit he put on him. Austin Mayfield into the game. Mayfield passes to Michael Fine, who lays out full extension to make that catch. Look at this again. Harbor going for two, Austin Mayfield rolls out, avoiding Northside defenders to hook up with Michael Pine. Two point conversion is good. Later in the third quarter, Mayfield drops back and hits Evan Johnson on the slam for a 25 yard gain. Several plays later, Preston Panato slashes through the defense for the first down. Same drive, Tucker Lee takes the ball and finds the end zone. Touchdown, Harbor. Still in the third, Mayfield with another bomb and a great catch by Michael Fine for 49 yards. Now in the fourth quarter, Mayfield finds Nick Byrne all alone in the end zone. Touchdown, Harbor. Harbor caps it off and defeats Northside 59-45. For WCSN, I'm Matt Bowen. That does it here at WCSN. Next week we have lots of sports to get you caught up on, including volleyball, the Gulf State Tournament, and of course, highlights from the football game against the Rogers Mounties. Back to Drew and Haley at the desk. Thanks, Carter. And if you want and if you have any other stories you'd like to see, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Abby Peterson explains. 
Did you see the crowning of the homecoming queen? Or do you want to rewatch the flash mob the seniors put on in their attenda? If you missed them, Harbor Wildcat Television has your back. We now have our own Facebook and Twitter page up and running. All you have to do is like our page on Facebook or just follow us on Twitter. On the Facebook page, you can watch videos of all pep rallies, school events, and many stories of what's going on in the student life. You can also look at pictures of Harbor events and HBW and students on the job. The Twitter page is helpful by quickly getting updates about events around the school. Follow us and you might just get a retweet or follow back. Harbor TV is also setting up their own YouTube channel that consists of videos that you can watch at any point. We would love for everyone to check out all three of our pages. For HPWN, I'm Abby Peterson. All right, now let's show you what we are working on. Next week, we will be bringing you the Oktoberfest for German Club, another story from LPGA about a former hog, Stacy Lewis, and everything Harbor Wildcat Sports from Carter and the Boys. From everybody here at Harbor Studios, I'm Haley Hendricks. And I'm Drew Jenkins. Have a great day and see you next week.